Hi everyone, it's Cathy uh, Ryan here in uh, Bundaberg, Queensland for Australia Art Dreaming and I have just mixed up some resin. Today I'm using uh, polyester clear casting resin uh, which is not the usual epoxy and I'm going to, because um, it's not a good thing to uh, mix water-based uh, colouring uh, with the um, polyester because it doesn't like water I'm um, going to try something else today and um, hopefully this will come up really nice so I have um, a set of coasters here with the stand and also some jewellery I'm going to only half fill um, as much as these as I can and let them set and then come back and uh, get on with what I'm thinking that I can do here. So just give this an extra little stir, you stir this in the same. Uh, for every hundred mils it's two mils of uh, catalyst and here we go. And so these are only going to be moving it around to make sure it's on all the corners. Emergency up the road, I can hear the sirens coming, which means the dogs are going to start howling in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to leave that now till it sets. I'll uh, go ahead and mix up some more and uh, resin and, and um, ester, polyester and um, do the rest of these and then I'll be back in a couple of hours when this is set. Alright, it's been over an hour and this has now set. Um, it's still a little sticky but it'll do for what I want and I have decided to mix up some white ultramarine blue and what was this one? Um, Montmartre uh, Cerulean Blue I just mixed it the same as you would if you were going to do an acrylic pour and there's no water I used uh, Floetrol and I'm going to get that out of there um, put my gloves on <laughs> not really set up am I um, I'm going to do the uh, pendants first, uh, if I can get my gloves on, bear with me. Okay, they're on. Took a little bit of doing. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yes, um, I'm going to start with the pendants first and I have a paintbrush, I have uh, red, orange and gold. Uh, or Montmartre and I'm taking them whoops <laughs> all right straight out of the uh, packet and I'm just going to put a bit here and there just dibble dabbles and okay so that's that have to wipe that. The trusty little baby wipes that stick together. Oh goodness, here, come on. And some gold, I think, next. Oh 
pretty this gold. This is looking good. A little bit in these. These were just the leftovers that I did. So I'm going to leave those there now to dry, um, that might take a little bit longer and um, hopefully, and then once that's done I'll put another coat of the uh, polyester over it. Now these, I'm going to do something else with these. Now I have a cup and I'm going to do a kind of a dirty pour in these I suppose. Where's this? I have also got some um, Montmartre silicon oil. So I'm just putting a drop in here and there of that. drop. Right, that's two drops. Now I'm just going to give it a, just like you would if you were doing a pour. to him. Okay. Actually, not too much in there now, but that'll be okay. Just get out what's left in here.
this. Right, that one's to the edge. There is a couple of things I'd like to tell you about this uh, polyester and polyurethane. Uh, with the um, other resins, you can use a long nose um, lighter or heat gun if you're careful to uh, get rid of any bubbles or anything. Mm -hmm. However, uh, with the polyurethane and the polyester, absolutely no naked flames whatsoever. It will catch fire. There's no two ways about it. Um, it's just not something that you want to uh, do. You will uh, definitely start a fire and whilst you can probably put it out fairly quickly, you'll probably end up burning your mould and you really don't want to do that. So absolutely no naked flames. So, and that's, you'll see I'm not doing that. No naked flames, not even on the table. So, right, I'm hoping that this comes up really nice. I might have to take some of this paint out of here, um, which I will do. because I want to put some a coat over the top. Right, I'll clean that up later. This looks nice. It's all good. All good. So what I have to do now is just, after I clean up this mess, is wait for all of this to dry and then I'll come back and we'll put on the uh, second layer of polyester and uh, yeah it's interesting I'm happy to see how it's coming along all right at the moment so it's now 24 hours since I did these um, I did have a little quick peek at this one and uh, some of the paint that dribbled down the side has not dried yet but that should easily wash off and um, we'll see how we go. So I'm going to start with these. Um, as you can see they've turned out really pretty and uh, we'll just, yeah the paint hasn't dried around the edges but that's okay because I can wash that off so um, I'll do that in a minute and just getting the rest of them out. They are ever so pretty, they really are and it seems to have worked. And, oh, yeah, I'll get that wet paint off, it's a bit of a Sorry thing to have happened, but not to worry, it's no big deal really. Look at that one. They really made it. What a lovely set. Now this bloke. Okay, I'm putting more paint on it. Uh, getting it off. anyway so all right so what I might do here is just go and wash these up and then come back and show you what's happened here 
Alright, so I've taken these out and washed them up and I have managed to clean up the mould really nicely so that's um, a big save. Now these have come up rather nicely as you can see, uh, there's one of them and uh, I really like the way they've come up, however this piece I don't know that I can actually fix that. I thought I might be able to just glue it back on, but it's, um, I'll have to redo that part. That's um, pretty useless. Now the um, jewellery that I did, the pendants, this one's fallen out. Uh, they've come up really nice. Uh, that's one of them. Uh, there, uh, as you can see, red, gold, and orange. Just leave that there. Get these out. Um, that's the the second one. I think they're rather nice. They need cleaning up. They've got a bit of stuff on the edges, and the one fell out. Uh, <laughs> I slopped a bit of the blue on this one when I was messing around with it just shows you you shouldn't mess around but that's come up very nice even with that little bit of blue on it so I'm quite happy with those so that's it folks what I've learned here um, I'll just take my gloves off it's very warm today it's 9am here and it's already 30 degrees Celsius which is or centigrade uh, which is um, well, 90 Fahrenheit, or give or take. So, anyway, um, what I've learned from this is not to get too excited and use too much paint, which I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and the, the reason this has happened is because I did too much at once and this bottom piece um, actually dried before I put this, did the rest of it, and of course then it didn't seal, it doesn't stick to itself while it's in that condition. So as you can see, it would have been pretty, but pretty useless now. So uh, next one I do, I'm going to do another one, at least with um, the paints, and I will only do them in sections so that I can get them finished um, before they dry. The polyester is very fast drying and especially in this hot weather so but uh, there's four little coasters there and I'll do a stand for them to go in and maybe just a plain stand and uh, and that'll be another nice set. If you haven't already subscribed please do click the little bell and you'll be notified then as I put up videos into uh, YouTube and um, please give this the thumbs up uh, it was a good learning experience uh, i hope you learned something from it i certainly did and um well, let me show you this one this this is a set i did off camera a while back and um purple and and silver and uh, i put the little uh spots on the back there that stops them from actually getting onto your furniture. So, anyway. Alright, um, so as I've asked, please give this a thumbs up and I'll catch you with the next one. Bye for now.